First thing you're going to want to do is flip your fabric over so the wrong side is facing up, fold it in half lengthwise, and then we are going to pin straight across the raw edges all the way across because that is where we're going to be putting our first seam. So I've got my first one pinned, go ahead and pin your other piece, I'm going to be working on this one. I'm going to do a 3 8 seam. Remember to do your back stitching at the beginning and ends. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pin this strip around the outside of our leg so that we can figure out where the seam is going to go and how long this is going to have to be. So I've got two seams to choose from. I'm gonna start, I don't wanna use this uh, overlapping seam. I'm gonna use, um, this one's a little cleaner on this side. So I'm going to start my pinning on this edge. And this is just for measurement. Just make sure that you have no gaps um, while you're pinning. My jeans are, these jeans are actually a little bit stretchy but I am not stretching them at all because otherwise I'll end up with gaps and mismeasurements. Mis mis um, so I'm just keeping it taut as I pin, but not pulling very, not pulling. You want to pin as close as you can. Where the seam meets, because what you're going to do. Oh, better pin this one. Where these two, where your beginning and end pieces meet, this is where you're, you're going to mark where these two come together, and they should match up exactly where your jean seam is. So we're going to put a pin, not, we're not going to pin to the jean, we're just going to pin really close and we're just going to mark right there at the top. I have this pin going across through the fabric without going through the jeans to mark where the two fabric strips meet at the beginning and end. And I'm going to leave this one in, this pin is going to stay in, and I'm going to unpin the fabric that I just pinned all the way around. slip that right off and now I know exactly where I'm supposed to stitch across for the width of my jean leg. Okay so I'm going to turn this pin and mark it as going straight down. Make sure it lines up across the bottom, which it does. Once I put my footer where I want it, I'm just going to remove that pin. Okay, so there, there is my uh, straight stitch. So now, so now I've got this. Okay, and we're just going to clip these little end pieces off to about, I don't know. About like that. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and our seam is on the outside of this ring of fabric. We wanna keep that on the outside. We wanna have uh, our other seam where the raw edges are to be pointing down because these raw edges are gonna meet up with the raw edges of the jeans. The fabric is gonna be on the outside. So we're gonna slip this ring of fabric around our pant leg or jean leg or whatever you're using. And we're gonna match up this seam that we made over here with our side seam in our jean. We're gonna match it up exactly. Okay, and that will be our starting point. So now we're gonna repin everything like we did before. And what I like to do is kind of uh, pull it tight and do go over and pin the opposite edge first so that I end up with less chance of gapping. Now, for the seam, I could have ironed it beforehand, um, but my fabric is laying pretty nice, so I'm not real stressed about it. Okay, so now, the most important thing we want to do here is we have our original seam that we made on the fabric um, to close the top. What we want to do, what we want to make sure and do here is we want to sew on the left edge of the seam because when we flip our cuffs down, we don't want this seam to show. So we are going to do, this will end up being da, 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 three eighths if I do half inch. If you want to cut it real close so that you don't take any length off of your cuffs, you may want to, um, so that this whole section would be closer to like a half inch, um, which is what I'm gonna do. And I am just gonna slide, you can slide your needle over to the left if you want, um, or you can leave it centered. I'm gonna leave it centered and I'm just gonna try and sew a really straight seam. So what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is a little back stitch and we're gonna sew a straight seam all the way around and meet up and Hopefully it will meet up in the same place we started. Um, a good tip here, for me, I have a hard time doing straight seams without really paying close attention here. Um, I have lines here, but keeping them taped really doesn't help me um, all the time. In this case, I'm actually watching this seam right here because it tends, it, it falls exactly where my foot splits. So I'm just watching that, keeping that in the same spot, and my other seam is matching right up. Okay, so I just completed that seam. I suppose we should probably cut off these little danglies. Yeah, that looks good. Now we get to flip this over all the way around. And look at that. Got a little edge on there. Okay, I just ironed these out and I love it. It's exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna keep it real basic. I'm just gonna do a white straight stitch, uh, top stitch here and here, and be done.
Okay, and all I'm gonna do is line up my foot along where the jeans meet the fabric, and I'm just gonna move my needle over to the left. And we're gonna do that same thing along this bottom edge. We're gonna line up to the right and move our needle to the right. That should be about perfect. And there we go. There's our first cuff. Looks good, right? I did end up stitching this. I, I ironed it down this way. And then you can see I've got double stitches going across the top holding it in a down position. And that's exactly what you want. So you can always clip off of the little bit of excess, but it's really not gonna be bothersome at all because it's all laying completely flat just as it should be. So, that is how you do your little springtime cuff. And everything you did here, go ahead and do on your other one. Thank you for watching and happy sewing.